Jody, welcome to Meadow Lane. You've only been here about an hour, but yeah. what have you made of it so far? Um, I'm enjoying it already, to be fair. The boys seem like really, really nice guys and um, just the, the building and everything, the stadium, it's, it's, it's so good. It just doesn't seem like it should be a team in the National League, but hopefully this season we can achieve something that gets us out of the National League. Just talk us through your timeline of your, your day so far. You got here quite early, I think. Yeah, I had to be here at um, 7.45, so... Um, I live in Bista now, so I went back up to Coventry, stayed with my partner's family. So it's not too far from here, only like an hour. Drove down here this morning and yeah, got here, just done a few medical things, had some breakfast and I was sitting here. Team meeting as well, was it nice to sort of be in there with the your new group and to hear from the yeah. head coach in that setting for the first time? Yeah, of course. Um, obviously, coming into like a football environment, those as football players know what it's like being the new person, but the boys have made me feel welcome already. Um, it seemed like a good bunch of lads laughing, having a, having a little joke and stuff. And it was nice to meet the manager and the staff as well. Do you know any of the boys here? I actually don't. I think this is the first time I've come somewhere and I don't know anybody. But it's part of football, it's part of life. Um, and um, it's time to make some, some new friends and uh, get promoted. Fingers crossed. Uh, how did this one come about? So, um, obviously I went to Oxford. Um, didn't quite go how I was expecting it to go. Uh, started off... Uh, well in pre-season, ended up signing for Oxford um, and I was going to go on loan at the start of the season but that didn't end up happening and obviously I've not really been playing or anything except from when I've been going on international duty, um, been training, been fit, um, not been injured at all, I uh, felt good in training, feel back to my best but just wasn't getting any game time or even getting in the squad so I just said to my agent, well, we both knew that I had to go and play games. That's the most important thing for me. Um, and yeah, um, I spoke to my agent just like every other player does, tells you the teams that are interested, speak to a few managers here and there, and just whichever team seems like the right team for you, just make a decision. And for me, when I spoke to the gaffer here, everything he told me, his plans, and he just sold me straight away. So yeah, buzzing to be here. You've played a lot of football as a winger in your career, mm -hmm. but here at Notts we don't actually play with traditional wingers. Yeah. Um, have you spoken to the gaffer much about your potential role here and yeah. how you see yourself fitting into the system? Yeah, I have. Um, I am an out-and-out -out winger. Um, I've been a winger for the majority of my career, but people have always said that they can see me in like the number 10 role or even like, like a false nine. Um, and I didn't really agree with it, to be fair, a few years back, but since I went away with my national team, I played there a few times against some top opposition and... I really enjoyed it, like I just like getting on the ball and you know, I think uh, I'll fit in quite well. Do you feel like, at, you know, you're 25, aren't you, that potentially adding more strings to your bow, you know, that would be a real beneficial thing for you going forward? Yeah, 100%. And there's always, always space to improve no matter who you are, you know. I'm, I'm just that guy that's just willing to learn and who loves football. So I'm coming here with a different manager, a uh, different staff, which I can learn loads of new things from and I, I can't wait for it. You say that you love football. I've been obviously reading about you in the in the build up to us signing you, and you talked about how difficult it was being out for such long periods at, at Coventry City. I can't imagine your spell at Oxford's been easy to deal with for you either. Just how hungry are you, and how excited are you to be joining Knots and being involved in this race for the title? Anyone would say the same thing, so it sounds quite cliche, but I'm hungrier than I've ever been. I can't wait to go. If, if you knew anybody at Oxford staff or players and you asked them how I've been recently in training I think they would tell you the exact same thing I'm, I'm playing better than I've ever played before well like in training um, I'm working hard working as hard as I've ever worked considering I've had some bad injuries over the time but it was just about me just working for myself you know and getting fit and being ready for when I did go somewhere like here so yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm so hungry and I just I can't wait to show the fans what I can do. You arrived here with great pedigree and a fantastic reputation. The Coventry fans absolutely adore you still, I'm sure. You mustn't have been short of offers. What were the key sort of elements of knots and, and maybe the, the situation that we find ourselves in as a club at the minute that appealed to you? Um, well, I've obviously, I know a few boys that play in this league. Um, I said to them, what do you think of the league? What sort of teams are the best teams you've played against? And obviously, teams they mentioned to me about Wrexham, Chesterfield, Notts County, but a lot of them all said to me, Notts County play the best football. And that's something that's just going to suck me in straight away because playing football is 
it sounds silly because you are playing football, but there's obviously teams that don't really play football that much. They might kick it out from the back and stuff. Well, I watched a few clips of the boys here. They seem to play good football. Well, it didn't seem like the standard of this league, how how I saw them playing. And when I spoke to the manager as well, um, he just said all the right things to me. He just he made me feel like really welcome before I was even here. And yeah, it's a massive club, massive club that shouldn't be in the National League and come the end of the season, they won't be. This is your first step out of league football. Yeah. And if anybody at Notts County is brutally honest, it's not the level that, that we want to be at either. But do you think that non-league is sort of developing a stronger reputation now with the, the clubs that you mentioned there and you know, yeah. Woking are in fantastic form as well. Do you think the National League is sort of <laughs> building a reputation of being somewhere that quality players shouldn't yeah. be ashamed to, to play playing? 100% like for me myself I was playing in the championship last season and um, I was playing well when I was playing in the games that I played in and for me to even come here it's just like I said look at the teams that are here South End just like this Notts County there's just big clubs here and like I said teams that shouldn't be in this league but like I said it's nothing to be ashamed of for any players to be in this league because Football is football at the end of the day. If you're enjoying it and you're getting and you're being able to play, that's what's most mostly important, especially for me because the only thing I do care about now is playing football. That's the only thing, no matter where it is or what level it's at. So, like I said, there's nothing to be ashamed of for players to play in this league. But like I said as well, I'm just here to play football. I can't wait. Playing week in week out is one thing. Hmm. Being involved in a title race and potentially taking Notts County back into the Football league is another. You know how happy are you to not only be at a club who will hopefully give you opportunities to show what you can do, but also to really challenge to achieve something to potentially yeah. win silverware at the end of the season. Of course, that's that's another thing that's that's really really exciting. And my time at Coventry, um, whenever it came to stuff like title races and stuff like that, um, I was injured, so I kind of missed out on all that stuff, which was very unfortunate because I always started the season really well. So. It was quite um it was quite hard to take, but now I'm I'm here and I'm gonna be involved in something similar to that, so I'm I'm just excited and cannot wait to go. Fitness wise, how do you feel? You've got two training sessions before the weekend. I'm sure you'll be wanting to put yourself firmly in the head coach's thoughts for that one, but are you gonna mm -hmm. need to take some time to get up to match sharpness, do you think? Well, like I said, coming back from injury, um, I'm fit enough from that for training and stuff like that. Game time, I've not had much game time, as you may know. So, yeah, it will be tough, but like I said, I will I will always give my best and I'll try and play for as long as I can. But I've had some minutes with my national team where I've started a few games um, and lasted around 60, 70 minutes against top, top opposition. So I should also be able to, to, to do that here. And the more games I play, the fitter I'll get. Tell us a little bit about Malta. You know, it's a um, fantastic experience yeah. for you, I suppose, isn't it? Yeah, of course, fantastic for a lot of people might go like, oh, one more, it doesn't sound like too great, but the players there are of good standard, they're all good players there, um, we play good football as well, um, it's exciting, and we play against top opposition as well, um, we played against, since I've gone there, we played against Estonia, Israel, Greece and Republic of Ireland, um, played, I started against Republic of Ireland um, not too long ago, and in a few months, we've got uh, the Euro qualifiers against um, North Macedonia and Italy. So it's, it's exciting. You can't, you can't complain. Um, and I, I look forward to that also. Absolutely. So you should. And we look forward to seeing what you can do in the black and white, Jody. Welcome to Meadow Lane. Thank you very much.